Hi fellas, happy Omri Wednesday. Late again, but uh, managed to get it out on time. Um, not too much been going on. A couple of bits I'll tell you about tonight. And uh, got them yesterday, a nice uh, package delivered. This is, uh, managed to actually take the uh, my address off this. Get you to show my address or somebody else's. So, uh, got my little uh, envelope knife, let's get it open. Easy said than done. Got it in there. Well packed. Right, get it in there. Okay. Big thanks to John, Aussie Brew. Cheers, mate. And I've got the, I think it's the old case rum ale from Young's. And this is the American IPA. Um, so it's in the uh, transfer, only a week or so on trying. So uh, thanks very much for that, John. I'm uh, ready to review them. I'll put a link down to your channel for the guys. Uh, much appreciated, mate. And I uh, will get some out to you. Um, so lovely, uh, lovely thing to come home and get some home brew and uh, it's my last uh, day of sobriety today. Um, it should have actually been last Sunday but I didn't want to have uh, a session on a Sunday driving early Monday so I tried against it. So I uh, picked up another beer tonight and this is, well cider, um, it's a Copperberg, um, premium cider, alcohol free. Mixed fruits, let's uh, crack this one open. So if this there, I can try an alcohol free uh, cider, it's the first time I've seen one, so uh, give it a point of a look. Nice uh, pinky colour, light pink. Yeah. Great looking. Carbonation, clears you like we'd expect from uh, commercial beer. Hmm. Actually, it smells actually like alcohol. Quite surprised there. Um, the apples and the fruits are coming through, so cheers. And uh, happy on Wednesday. Proper beer tomorrow. That's quite nice, that. Quite. Uh, Impressive that one. Best of some of the alcohol free beers I've had. And uh, you guys are off the pot. Quite uh, fruits coming through there, refreshing. That was a pound in Morrison, so you can't really get around that, can you? So cheers. Right, um, what else have we up to? Ah, oh, this is my. New Zealand IPA. They do a gravity reading before, so it's come out at um, 5.9 percent. Quite clear there, which I'm quite surprised. I dry hopped it. I didn't put it in a bag. I just tossed all the hops in. Very small batch, so uh, sniff on that. Hops are there. Very subtle. It's not a hop heavy um, like American double IPA or anything like that, but subtle. Um, a bit like me really, so the taster. There's more more hops to that than I would have thought actually. It's quite um quite a bit on the back. Very floral. I think some of the uh, New Zealand hops are a bit like that. Um Four different hops in this, and when I've come to do my taste test couple weeks, I bottle it this weekend, and uh, I'll put the recipe down below exactly what I did use. But uh, that's quite nice. That so, uh, Rocky Brew sent me off with them hops. So cheers for that, Zane, and uh, I'll do a taste test shortly once it's carved up. Uh, right, what else? Uh, not to drag on too much. Watching some great videos of you guys, 
Um, I've really enjoyed watching the Australian guy, Fads Brewery, and uh, Big Ali's old fella, so cheers fellas. Um, it was a treat and uh, you got some great beers between you and the uh, great rapport, so uh, well done lads. Um, right, out of fashion a bit at the moment, have these, well, if you guys have used them, and all of you have, Pat Max Brewing Caps. Um, I came home tonight, so I wanted a quick cider, it's literally, once I was in sanitised, five minutes, um, to add something different. To the apples, you see the colour there, quite a red hue. Um, it's actually only been in the bottle about half an hour, and that bottle's actually went tight, so uh, forward to that. Um, what did I do? Right, um, so an OG of 1.068, I think 69, so we're probably looking about, uh, depending on how it ferments down, I want it to ferment out about 1.010. If I can, not too dry. Um, and that's used, um, mostly apple juice obviously. And I picked this up. It's a Lyle's squeezy strawberry. Kind of thing you put on your ice cream, something like that. Um, it says artificial, free from artificial colourings, colours and preservatives. So if I, I bang that in, um, not a bell or anything like that. Should ferment out. Um, teaspoon of yeast teaspoon of yeast news and just help it on. So uh, I think that's about it for tonight. Um, just so easy on Pat Max caps and they're they superb for things like ciders and that. Um, I've done wines, I'm not, not scared of the wines to be honest. Um, but yeah, some good results. If you bit strapped for time or even cash, get a few of those. Um, something you have to go away with, take your caps with you. Um, Start of an holiday, and then the holiday you've got uh, some cider ready or beer, so yeah, I'll, uh, we'll wrap it up on that one. So, uh, thanks guys for watching, thanks again, John. Let them settle out, I'll review them, um, and also back on the beer tomorrow. So, got something a bit, uh, well, not really different, but um, well, I've got something to post at weekend. I'm planning to post one. Um, almost every weekend until I get fed up or you guys get fed up which uh, probably latter more probable so uh, Copperberg alcohol free pretty good that so uh, cheers guys thanks for watching enjoy the rest of the weekend uh, I'll catch you later